much. Jim Gibson. Thank you, Joanne. Uh, I serve on the executive committee for the Texas Board of Volunteers, Inc. We're a volunteer group based down in Brooks County, Texas. Can we go up to the podium? Can we go up to the podium? Oh, okay. Don't touch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I serve on the executive I work down in Brooks County with the Border Patrol, uh, Texas Department of Public Safety, and the Brooks County Sheriff's Office. We've been doing this since 2006, so we've been at it a while on a regular basis. Uh, based on what Joanne gave me earlier in an email, what I thought I would do is just give you a very brief synopsis of what we currently see down in that part of Texas. And when folks see our name, Texas Border Volunteers, they sometimes assume that we're sitting down on the river. Well, Brooks County and Fountain Furious, where we're at, is some 70 miles north of the border. There's a border patrol checkpoint that's located four miles south of where we base out of. And uh, that checkpoint is what dictates the traffic in terms of human traffic and our narcotics that may be coming through the area. Uh, just give you some quick numbers to give you a sense of where we're at, where we came from just about three years ago. The surge that you're seeing in the news represented down on the immediate river area, particularly of females and children that you've been reading about. This surge started back in the spring of 2012. We tracked the Border Patrol monthly apprehension of as far out here is. If you go back to the March, April, May time frame of 2012, that's when you started to see the numbers take off. And they have been rising steadily ever since. To give you an example, in 2011, South Area's Border Patrol apprehended a total of 9,851. Uh, 9, you fast forward to 2013, that number jumped to 24,000. 598. We have already equaled that number this year, and we still have three months left in the fiscal year. It's reasonable to conclude that Fort Falcon's Port Patrol is going to exceed 30,000 apprehensions this year. Now, again, keep that in mind, this is 70 miles north of the port. It's coming right up to 81. And I think Joanne mentioned a minute ago, the OTM factor other than Mexico, that is consistently, in our area, running at 70% of apprehensions. The days of the, this being a Mexico problem are long gone. And we've entered a new realm now, a new dynamic. And it's not just El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua. It's Pakistan, it's China, it's Somalia, it's Ethiopia, and we've confirmed this with border control. What we can get are specific numbers in specific regions for country of origin. DHS does not talk about that. Uh, we had a conference call to give you an example with uh, some of Senator Cruz's people up in D.C. about uh, three or four weeks ago. And one of the questions that his staff asked us was, do you have any data on special interest aliens? And I thought that was kind of odd. And here you have the United States Senator staff asking me for information that they should already be getting, but DHS stonewalls them and they can't get to that day. So that's the biggest concern that we have as an organization is what is getting through as a result of all the focus being on the women and children of the so called humanitarian crisis that's taking place. Border Patrol's frustration levels are through the roof. They're changing diapers, they're feeding. They're processing, they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing, which is being out in the field looking for the bad guys. So that kind of gives you an idea of what we're seeing in Brooks County, uh, not to mention the property damage, uh, the deaths that are involved with some of these immigrants that are coming in, that perish out in that harsh uh, terrain. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff going on down there that people typically don't know about. <coughs> Anything else you need to cover? Yes, Very good. And we'll have to